jacket, an extra layer to cut some wind, because I'm getting cold. It's been two hours. Five to go. I'm stopping in St. on the Beaupre to have a little bit of a snack. Actually, not a snack, it's my lunch. Pulled pork wrap and kombucha. Good appetit, Lex. Good appetit. Well, I'm maybe a little more than halfway, and I've just arrived in Tadisac. This is where I have to take the ferry to cross the Segne River. This is the Segne, and then down there is the St. Lawrence River. It's really beautiful here. Such an adventure. I spent the whole day on the motorcycle with my bicycle, and now I'm on a boat. This is so cool! The best of all the worlds! I'm telling you, all of the worlds! I just passed through a place called Forestville, and I think that there are about 80 kilometers left before I get to Bécomo, and I'm almost disappointed because I just want to keep going and going and going and going. It's almost five o'clock and I started at almost nine o'clock, so it's been a pretty good day of motorcycling so far, and it's not quite over yet. I'm gonna enjoy the rest. I guess sometimes I choose funny places to eat. This one is doing the trick just fine. This is a, uh, I don't know, I think it's some kind of like, baby tree farm or something. I have now been on the road for about nine hours and I just realized that um, I made a little bit of a mistake. Today is Thursday and I reserved the Airbnb starting on Friday. My destination is Bécamo and I don't think that Bécamo has like a plethora of hotels. So I am hoping that I can find a solution. I can't believe I did this. Actually, I can believe I did this. This is my style, but I'm not proud. I'm in my Airbnb in Bacon Mall, having breakfast, oatmeal with banana and protein in a cup. Mm. And I can't wait to discover this place on my bike today. It's nice because I have one extra day. Check out the St. Lawrence River. It's beautiful. I've been having a really amazing time riding in Bécomo for the first time in my life today. I was riding and thinking, man, I am really in the middle of nowhere because I kind of deviated from my initial route plan. There's not a lot up here. But then I got me thinking, you know, there is a lot up here because I was thinking, wow, look at all this beauty. It's amazing. There's so much life and things to discover and so many beautiful things to see. It's like a real adventure. It's funny because I was speaking to some people telling me that, oh yeah, once you get past this city or this city or this city, there's nothing, you know, it's just like open road. But the way I see things is once I get into areas that are more just beautiful, pure wilderness, I feel like I'm somewhere and I feel like I'm doing something. Whereas if I'm in a city, I kind of feel sometimes that I'm nowhere. This is the first year of my life that I've actually started enjoying eating bananas on bike rides. I think bananas are kind of like Coca-Cola. They're only good during bike riding.
But I'm having to remind myself to not worry about doing the exact perfect thing, to be in the exact perfect form, to have the best chance at winning the race in two days. I'm on an adventure in a brand new place and life is good, like, let's enjoy it. My goal for the race is to have as much fun as possible and I think that this is the proper training. where it actually looks like an ocean. And I have never been to a region that looks like this before. I am pretty sure that this far out east, the water in the St. Lawrence River is no longer fresh. I think salty, but we're gonna check. We're gonna check. I'm gonna check. <laughs> it's salty on face. Before I go back to Bacomo, I got a lobster sandwich and two red champagne here in Gadbu. Sandwich, and this looks like it's not going to be my last one. And what a place to eat it! The race is tomorrow, but the celebrations have already started. I am at Manic 2. This is a hydroelectric dam, and I'm so excited to see it. The race start is about 11 kilometers away, so I'm going to ride my bike there. And just so that I don't get lost, I'm going to put my GPS on my phone and listen to the turn-by-turn -turn directions through my helmet. Can't wait to race. It's been, like, so long. I gotta remember to take my saddlebag off. <laughs> Can't race with this. Well, I could, but that wouldn't be very smart. Well, that was my first race back since last September. And hey, no podium hat today, fourth place. But that's okay because I think I just won again at having fun. I really love racing my bike, riding my bike, and it's cool to be doing it here in Bekomo. And I just mostly feel grateful for the fact that I can do this. And I can't wait until the next time. I don't know when the next one's gonna be, but I can't wait for it.